Hello and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today I'm going to showcase a product that I think is pretty neat. Um, we purchased these for our student benches in the class. This is made by a gentleman by the name of Anders from Domo Tech. It's called the Dust Cover Clip Jig. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can find this. These are $10 shipped. That price might change over time depending on you know supply and demand and things like that, but even if it goes up a little bit more, fantastic deal for a very, very useful tool. I get no compensation from this. I bought these. Not my idea. Get the idea. I'm just sharing with you a neat tool. Now, this is a tool I've been using for a long time. Brownell sells this tool. Um, here's the markings on it, Rotoclip. I can't remember what these cost, but you can find them on Brownells. Not a bad tool, but what I've seen repeatedly from students, and even when I still had to like get a hang for the tool, People have difficulty getting this in place and holding it, so you can click it onto the dust cover rod. Sometimes they spring out of place, sometimes you lose them, sometimes they fall off. Not a bad tool to have in the toolbox for a serious builder, but I think this is just a little easier to use. So let me show you how easy it is. I'm going to grab the little C-clip, and I'm going to use the needle nose pliers because it gives me a little more control. Able to see that? In the little jig, there's a groove cut into it. We're going to place the little C-clip into that groove, and we've got it in place. I put this paper here so you have some good contrast. Let me pull it off. Maybe it's too much light. There we go. And let me get my pointer. And the idea is that you're going to try to get that C-clip on this little groove cut into the dust cover rod. So you'll just take it right over top. Push down, and I'm picking it out. You could just turn it upside down, and it's installed. That easy. Now, of course, this has to be off the firearm. If you want to see a video on how to put this on when the rod's already in the gun, I have a separate video on that. Just got to go through the YouTube channel. But I think it's a fantastic little tool. If you think it will be useful for your armor, especially your toolbox, go ahead and follow the link in the description. And as always... I hope you found this video educational, and thanks for watching.